All right, welcome back for another video, guys. Today we're making the BLT. This is a mold that I made a long time ago that I just started to break out recently and try new things with it. It never really was a workable mold, even though I took the rim off the edge of it. Still seems to break for me, so I just tried to find a way to make it work. Um, this is ProBlend 650 that I'm pouring into the mold here, and we're just gonna set that to the side. Um, but this video is kind of a little bit all over the place, guys. I haven't made a video in a while, so it takes me a while to get back into things. Um, we're also going to make a tomato, um, and I'm using red black block dyes here from Flagrant Candle. Flagrant Candle. <laughs> Flaming Candle. And I'm also going to pour some more Pro Blend 650 in there. And this is also a previous mold that I made before. It's not a working mold as well. When I say working mold, it means that I would not sell these to anybody because they break. I am able to make them work for the things that I'm able to make them work for. However, I put that in the, uh, I made that probably two years ago, put it in my shelf. I don't throw anything away because uh, I never know what I'm going to need something for. When an idea pops up, boom, I was able to use it. All right, so take a look at um, this. This is the bacon. Um, I don't know how I ended up editing this out, but it's just foil that I folded up into um, rectangles, put a little bit of brown um, dye block, just a very little bit, and then I'm just going to use a popsicle stick to swirl it around, pour some 650 in there as well, and that's what I'm going to use for my bacon strips. Now, this isn't the best bacon strips in the world, but I only needed them for a BLT, and I only needed a little bit of detail to be showing. So if you want better bacon, you may have to either make your own molds, buy a mold. However, this worked for me. Looks like bake, uh, dog treats, if you ask me. Um, do not ask my kids or my husband what they look like, because they have some more colorful things to call them. But... Um, it turned out okay. Also, I'm pouring a little bit more 650 in there just because if you can, if you take them out and they're too thin, they're going to break. So just wanted it to be a little bit thicker because I got to press down on the sandwich a little bit. Don't want it to break in route for shipping. None of that kind of stuff. Also, guys, it is so much easier to do, um, and a lot of you guys know who do videos, but it's so much easier to do a candle or a wax melt without it being on video. It's so much harder to do on film because you're impatient, you gotta demold things, you gotta wait for things to dry. Anyways, if you guys watched my salad video, you saw how I made the lettuce before. Same method, foil, a um, little bit of lime green, forest green, poured it on top, 650, and then that's my lettuce for my BLT sandwich. Unmolding the tomato another uh, tomato because I needed about four for this sandwich. I wanted it to go all the way around. And also hold on to those pieces because after you cut it, you're going to have to stuff a few pieces in some areas that are kind of um, open space so you can fill out your sandwich. So hold on to all of your stuff there. You might end up using all of it. All right, and now we are going to, you see how I did that toast? Once it solidified a little bit, I just cut a slice in it just so I can stop it from breaking. And then as you see, I'm trying to take it out too early. It's still warm. I'm about to break it all over again. Um, and you'll see that it's even a little bit less detailed um, than the first one just because I unmolded it too quick. So try not to do that. I take a knife. I'm just going to heat up the knife a little bit so I can cut it um, so I can even it out this, um, to make the slices nice and uniform. But that's it. So all I'm doing here. And then I took some brown dye. I took some soy wax. Mixed it all together. Put my heat gun to it. And we are going to color the top of that um, toast. So it can look nice and toasty. I got my, um, where did I get? I got my paint brushes. 
Oh my goodness, I almost had a stroke there. I got my paintbrushes from Walmart and from the Dollar Tree. I don't notice a difference in either one of them other than the price there. Still just melting some soy wax. Again, I apologize. The editing is all over the place. Um, this video is all over the place. I don't even know. I feel like I'm missing a part of the video to where I actually paint the bacon because the bacon is there. So I wonder if I already missed that part. All right, anyways, we're just painting the, um, and if you cross brush it, I don't know if that even is even a technical word, you will see more detail. I feel like if you just go across it rather than going up and down. Again, the top one, I let sit for a while. Um, I don't know, I guess I was a little bit more patient this morning, but so you can see so much more detail in the top piece. And it's just crazy how it turns out that way. So just be patient. I usually am as I'm if I'm not recording, but because you're trying to record, trying to make you know, you got to edit, you know, you got to do all that. Instead of me doing one on one day, one on another day, I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm going to get it all done today. And then I get frustrated. So that is my own flaw that I'm working on as a content creator. And look, I want you to see, see how little less detail that is. It still has some detail, but um, I don't know if you can notice on camera the way I can in person. But there is that. And again, just brushing it on, making sure that the wax stays pretty hot so that it can just kind of go on without you seeing too many brush strokes. I say the hotter it is, the less brush strokes you see. And now I am going to heat up some wax. And just stir it, that soy wax that I'm stirring in there, there, and that's going to be my mayo. So on this part, you guys are going to see me construct and destruct this candle wax melt multiple times because I don't know, for some reason when I first started making it, I was making like I was making a full sandwich. So now I'm like, I was only making half a sandwich, so I need to turn it a certain way. So I had to take it back apart. I did that off of video, off of camera. Um, and then now you just see me just trying to place it where I think it should be. And then I put a little bit of wax on it. And then I mush it down so that it stays in place. So sorry this is sped up, but... It just took me forever to construct this. And once you get to the part to where you have all your pieces, you construct it how you want to. Um, so really, it's just your creativity that takes over here and you just construct it. And then as you go, you can see all that wax. All you're going to do is clean it up before it gets a little too hard. And I just take a little tool, a paper towel, all kinds of stuff so I can clean up my messes. Make sure I get all of that unwanted wax out of place. And then I'm also going to go in and take my little pieces and put my pieces. Oh, I'm cutting off the excess there. So there you see it. You see all that wax? I'm just going to clean up all of that stuff so it doesn't look as messy. And then again, if you sit it, let it sit. Stop playing with it. All of that stuff will solidify. There will be nothing sliding around on it. It will be hard as a rock. But one, as you're playing with it and you're making it and you're trying to video it, I mean, it's really a mess because it's not solid. And then the temperature from your hands is keeping it still warm. So as you see, I'm just kind of stuffing pieces that I see um, in the open areas. And that's it, guys. That is the candle. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And that is the wax melt that we made today. Hope you guys liked. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks again.